You're so beautiful, so adorable. You are the one deep in my heart and in my soul. Unbelievable, oh my baby boo. You're so amazing, I'm crazy for you. You're so beautiful. some movement to it, it be good. They shouldn't worry about that. They shouldn't worry about that. Everything they need will be provided for them. They should just concentrate on the job. Mm. Yeah, he's a fantastic production manager. He's been doing this thing for a long time, so he knows what he's doing. I mean, I trust, I believe in him. Yes. 
encourage you guys to do a great job, and I'm sure they will deliver. But give them liberty, give them a free hand. A free hand, yes, let them get creative. It doesn't matter, they can just express themselves fully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need new things, we need new things, yes, yes. Exactly, exactly. All right then. I'll see you guys later. 8 p.m. It's okay. Okay then. Take care. God bless. Bye. You're so beautiful. So adorable. You are the one deep in my heart and in my soul. Unbelievable. Oh, my baby boo. You're so amazing, I'm crazy for you You're so beautiful, so adorable You are the one deep in my heart and in my soul Unbelievable, oh my baby boo You're so amazing, I'm crazy for you You are the sunshine of my life Angel of my life, you bring me joy, my baby. That's one of my guys I'm talking to. Yes. There's so much going on. Everybody's working on different angles. We're trying to build some things and that bring some creativity and, yeah, into existence. Yes self-expression you know it's always good when you're working with people make them to own the process make them to believe in what is going on let it be a part of them let them have a stake in that if they do have a stake I guarantee you that they won't let it drop they won't let the button drop on their own exchange yes everybody will hold forth and do their own beat yes yes uh -huh. you know it's always nice when you're working with people and you believe in them and let them know that you believe in them. That way they bring out their best. Everybody wants to be recognized, to be appreciated, you know. Appreciate the people you work with and then they will give you their best. That's how it works, you know. Yes, that's how it works. Yeah. It's really all good. It's really all good. I know. It's a wonderful life we're living in, a beautiful one. If you want to cherish the beauty in life, that's fine. If you, if you, if you don't, well, who's losing? You are. But I think, I think everyone should be giving their best. There's just one life to live. One life to live. Life to leave. Bum 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 bum, bum 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 bum, dun 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 dun, dun 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 dun, dun 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 dun, bum 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 bum, bum 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 bum, bum 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 bum, dun 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 dun, dun 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 dun, dun 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 dun. Skits on skits. What gives me joy? I think when I see people happy, it gives me joy. When I see people successful, it gives me joy. When I see people putting in their best to make a better life, it gives me joy. You know, I'll encourage them in every way possible. You know, when I see people doing their best, everyone doing their best, you know, it's great joy, great joy, great happiness. Because there's too much we've been given in life for us to just uh, let it slide. You know, it's always good. Whatever it is, whatever position we find ourselves, we'll make the best out of it. Because when we make the best out of it, the Creator will be very happy with us that we've been able to deliver 
on on the message that we've been sent to to deliver, you know. I believe that everybody from the minute of conception to death is a unique creation and no two people are ever the same. So that we there must be a reason why we are on this planet. And that thing that 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 it comes easy to you may be very difficult to someone else. That thing that comes easy to you is what makes you you. That's what makes you unique, different from every other person. So you bless the world with that thing. Just keep doing it, you know. With time, recognition would always come. It always comes to people who stay a little longer, you know. So first thing is believing yourself. Do what it is that you're sent here to do. And one way to know the thing that you're sent here to do is the thing will come so easy, like second skin will come so easy to you, so simple and easy to you, that every other person will be wondering how, how you do the things you do and they're so easy to you. The fact that it comes easy to you means that it's your second nature. That's what you're sent here to do. That's what makes you different from every other person. You know, since no two people are the same, that's what makes you different. You know? So that thing that makes you different is what is you. That's the thing that makes you you. So just do it. And when people are succeeding, it gives me great joy. When people are doing well and are happy, it gives me great joy. I like successful people around you. Know? And the ones who are not doing so well, you encourage them to do well. And I love people that listen, people that want to learn, eager to learn, eager to make their lives better, eager to improve on what they already have. You know? I like people whose brain is always working. Everywhere they are, the brain is active. Smart people, sharp people. You know, I'd love to be around them, in the, irrespective of age. It doesn't matter. Age is nothing in this case. Wherever they are, just give me a guy who is doing his best and bringing out something that's very unique to them. That's it. So there's so much joy and happiness in the air. It all depends on the angle you're looking at. Where do you want to look at? You know, because what's, what's on the inside of you is what you actually see when you're dealing with people. That's where you see them all. So that's, for me, it's great joy when you see the togetherness of people, you know, in every facet of life and everyone doing their best in their own way. That's what gives me joy, you know. You know joy of life, joy of living. It's fantastic. It's great. Get up, bro. You're so keep up from that. Keep up from so that. adorable. You are the one deep in my heart and in my soul Unbelievable Oh my baby boo You're so amazing you you give the drum. I'm crazy for you <laughs> What a dumpster You're so beautiful baby So adorable baby You are the one deep in Just my heart way and in my soul Unbelievable Dodge you, dodge Angel of my life You bring me joy, my baby You bring me joy, my baby Oh yeah, everything you want, my baby I'll give it all to you I do it all, my baby You're so beautiful So adorable No one like me, baby I will love you the day of my life Unbelievable Oh my baby boo You're so amazing. You're so amazing I'm crazy for you You're so beautiful So adorable You are the one deep in my heart And in my soul oh. You're so beautiful, so adorable You are the one deep in my heart and in my soul Unbelievable, oh my baby boo You're so amazing, I'm crazy for you You're so beautiful, baby, so adorable You are the one deep in my heart
my baby boo I will love you all the days of my life You're so beautiful We're grateful for that. We're grateful. We're thankful for life. Yes. And here I be. So far, we wake up every new day. We give thanks. That should be the first thing we say when we get up. Thank you, God, for another opportunity, another new day. Thank you for all the good tidings that would come. We hope to come from it. And we move with a positive mental attitude because that's what counts. That's what really matters. Once we are positive, and we approach the day with a very positive attitude. The best will always come our way. Uh-huh. That's it. That's it. I am grateful for life. Grateful for creation. All the beautiful and wonderful things that we see every day. About the little things like the grasses, the trees, the seas, the mountains, everything. And the people. Oh, come on. The people. People make the world go round like they say. People are the best creation and they can always also be the worst if they decide to bring out the demons in them. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. every human being is capable of so much. It all depends on what you decide to bring out. You bring out the positive good, the good things good. But if you decide to do it the other way and bring out the negative, how bad, how bad that would be. But we concentrate on the good. Mm -hmm. The good. It's always better to look towards the good things. Yeah. You know, sometimes you wonder what it would be like if everyone lived them peace and harmony with one another. That would be so great. That would be awesome. Making music, making some paintings, ideas coming, different things. And you try to think about the best way that you can put them into context. Put bring them out in a practical way so that people can appreciate it. Oh boy. Like I think of the way forward, okay, the way forward. Is it gonna be in a song or is it gonna be in a painting? Okay, maybe I think of a bicycle rider that, could, that should tell the story of going forward because for you to ride a bicycle, you have to constantly be pedaling. You'll be pushing the pedal steady so that the bicycle, the bicycle will stay steady. If you stop pedaling, it will, the motion will start slowing down. It keeps slowing down to the point that it would stop. But as long as you're pedaling and you're steady, it's the way forward. That means you're working towards progress, towards achieving something you're thinking and putting your thoughts in, in practice. You know? So that's just how life is. Life is just like riding a bike. So you're riding the bike. So you're riding the bike. Um, we will keep moving. You know, if you see many people, you just ask them a simple question. Uh, well, you know the thing about happiness is that happiness actually most people like take a jolt. <laughs> they it's find a it a bit difficult to be happy. happy. So are you happy? And once you like, have a grateful heart. So Nigeria will start to the wonder, ah, which kind of question is now? 
I just get the one that say, why they ask me this kind of question? Say, are you happy? Ah, which one be, are you happy? <laughs> Very simple question. If you're happy, you're happy. You're not, you're not. But you know, the thing about happiness is that happiness actually resides in us. It's a decision we make to be happy. And once you have a grateful heart, it's a lot easier to just be happy, you know. Because you cannot, you cannot be, it's difficult to be happy if you're not grateful. Because it's gratitude that brings uh, happiness. Mm -hmm. I like the way kids play in the street. They're not thinking about the stress that people go through every day. They're just living their lives and it's so beautiful. You know, it's so lovely. Just living their lives as it were. Loving every minute of it. Playing without any bothers, with no cares. Just having all the laughter there could be. They could be playing in the mud or rubbed in mud all over their body with, with um, practically torn clothes, but they're having so much joy and laughter. They're not bothered about the stress of everyday living. It's like they cast all their cares to the Creator to handle, I mean, the invisible things. They, as long as they don't chop, or once ch children don't chop, they're good, they're bound. They just did, they need to worry, you know. Sometimes I think people should just learn to leave learn to be happy you know with happiness will put all their systems all their organs in pro proper f in proper alignment they will all be functioning very well you know we have less sicknesses less mental problems and it's going to be a beautiful world you know uh, we give thanks and praise to the lord for making most How is art important to the society? Interesting question. How is art important to the society? I mean, it's just like saying, how is creativity important to the society? Well, I think basically the society we're living in is propelled by art and creativity. Like if you break it down, it's very important for every student to have the basic knowledge of art and creativity to spark off their thinking into creating things and making better things. It can be applied to any profession, be it engineering, be it architecture, be it uh, sports, even uh, be it in the medical sciences. I mean, a creative surgeon will perform better surgery and have neater sutures. A creative engineer would perform a better job in, in any kind of construction they're involved in. Or if he's a civil engineer, once one is creative, their job is definitely going to look better, appear better. You know. And if, you, uh, if you're into sports, I mean, you can imagine how much creativity will be rendered when you're watching a footballer play. And they're, they're, they have, they're very creative in their skill, with their skills. I mean, it's going to be so pleasant to watch. It would be awesome. So I think art is very important in every aspect of our life, in every facet of life. If you're a creative person, whatever you do, you're going to be better than your next, the next man who's practicing the same thing with you. Because you have an edge which they don't have, which they won't have. Your creativity is going to expand your scope. Even in banking, creative banking, there are different uh, ideas, uh, products that can, be, that can be brought up when it comes to even banking as it were. It's all about creativity. Creativity extends the frontiers of all these performances, of all these, uh, uh, very, of these various aspects of our lives. So I think creativity is, is, is it. That's it. That's it. So it's very advisable to train uh, children basically in art, expose them to art and creativity in the, early, in the formative years of their lives. So that whichever aspect of life they decide to go into, that basic uh, background that they already have, that uh, background they already have in creativity and art, will be extended and applied in everything they are doing. So creativity is very important in art. Actually, creativity is everything there is in, in, in life.
It's very important in life. Yeah. Creativity is very important. Art is the basis of life. In fact, art propels even the sciences to greater uh, achievements. Art propels everything. So art is very vital to our existence, as it were. Yes, very vital to our existence. I can tell you that. Thank you. The uh, what medium I work, I work on. I work on different uh, media, not just one. When it comes to the music, I have many musical inclinations. I love the reggae music. I love uh, the soul. I like the high life music. Very fantastic. I love the uh, Afrocentric music. They have they are the core of our existence. You know. Uh, so, uh, and I like the soulful music, the music that has content, actually. Music that talks about life, has meaning, that you can listen to and get some messages from them. Uh, sometimes, you know, there are times that you have the mood, you want to hop around. So I like the, uh, I like the uh, bing bang music, the beach beach kind of music. Uh -huh. But every type of song has its own time. My own is very eclectic, it keeps changing, depending on the mood, you know. I like some cool jazz, you know, a whole lot of people play them cool jazz, I like that one too. So everything keeps changing, and when it comes to the art, yes, for the paintings, I like oil on canvas, I like to express myself in acrylic colors. Uh, way back I used to do a lot of watercolors, but now not anymore, no, not, not anymore these days. But we'll still get back to that, because I'm feeling the vibe from very large canvases, and very large canvases mostly... Um, mostly work on acrylic uh, and uh, water um, oil colors so the the media I express myself in I like the acrylic color because it dries very fast and the oil oil is interesting my medium on uh, I, I mostly like to express my splash splashlino series and oil because of uh, the application and it takes quite a while to dry Sometimes my Splash Lino series could take months to dry because of the way the colors are applied, you know. So you give it a lot of time to dry. And it helps to showcase dexterity in painting, you know. Great dexterity in painting. As you splash the colors, you control them. Your draftsmanship has to be very powerful. You have to be in total control. And there are really not much room for mistakes. You can't, can't make so many mistakes when you're working splashily, you know, but it's all good. So these are the media I work on and um, very interesting. And they express different moods. Like I said earlier, my grass series is quite somber mood, quite concentrated mood for me to render my colors and in that style. But when it comes to the splashily, you know, it's more effervescent, high spirit, you know. Just very liberal, free. But a plastilino has to do with an impasto of colors, you know, painting of dabbing of the colors and really jabbing the colors, making them thick, like building the colors, like your this kind of sculptural piece that you're working on. So these are the different styles. So that, but each style has the medium that practically goes much better with it in expression. So these are all parts of the creativity that we're involved in. Interesting, interesting. I love every minute of it, you know. And then when it comes to sometimes drawings, you know, you could do a lot of pen and pencil drawing or pen and ink drawing. And those are very special ones that I've been doing for a while and intend to still explore them a bit more as time goes on. It's interesting. The life of the artist, you know. We keep expressing ourselves in different ways, yes. And sometimes, too, the drama piece. But the drama has a lot of publicity in it. That's the one that really shifts me a bit. I'm not giving to too much publicity. But, you know, it comes with the business. You can't run away from it. We've been running away from it for a long time. But I think right now we're cut up. So nothing we can do. Nothing we can do. 
So we'll just be leaving it the way it is. Interesting. It's all good. <laughs> the name the artist yeah it's been a while back i had so many of my friends that i would go meet some of them top notch in the industries different industries apart from the arts so when i go meet them i'll be like oh chike is around I say oh really chike is around which chike is that is that the artist and they tell me sir are you i say yes that's the artist say, okay so from there you have different people saying the artist the artist the artist the artist. so you just talk so, Chike Honora, the artist Chike Honora, that's it. That's how it came about. And it's been going on for a long time. They just say, oh, Chike is the artist. The artist Chike Honora. Because also we've been into different aspects of art. The music, the drama, and the visual arts as a painting. So it's been going on like that for a long time. You know, way back we used to be on uh, prime time on TV. The early times of AIT was a uh, was soap opera, Magnet. I played a lead role in it. So it was on air every 8 p.m. till 9 p.m. on Sundays. I think the art has got quite a chunk of my time because I remember way back when we went into the drama thing and the publicity that came from the drama. I went to the bank one day, one old man saw me. The guy was like, hey, hey, please come, uh, you know? And he started advising me based on the part, the role I played on TV. And I was like, sir, it's not real, it's in a drama. See, I know, but you know that uh, in case of next time, you have to do like this, do like that, do, I'm like, hey, oh God, that's what the drama thing be. So he took a tour, and after that, I ran away. I dodged for a while. I see, I about me didn't take a miss, you know. So he got a view. So that's part of the thing. So which chicken is, which chicken is that? Okay, that's the artist. Which is the artist? But there's a funny thing, you know, the people in the visual arts. And you talk about chicken. Oh, that guy that is a musician. I said, ah, which musician? I'm an artist, and I paint. And then the people in the painting aspect. I said, oh, the musician. The people in the music. So that guy is, is the artist, the painter. So it keeps swinging from one to the other. You don't know which one is going to sink into it. But it's all part of it. It's all part of it. So the name, the artist, has stuck over time. And I have different people from all over. They say, oh, the artist, how are you? The artist, how are you? The artist. I say, well, if the people call you that, that's where you are. So it's stuck. That's it. the originality in our world. You can't afford to be a copy of another person. Just to be your original, be yourselves. Believe that whatever package will bring out the uniqueness that would be in it 
the originality that would be in it would give us mileage. Because I believe that every human being from the moment of conception till death is an original creation. A very unique creation and there is nobody like you completely. Everyone is original. So it's a lot easier to be yourself and express yourself the way you are. And people will take it for who you are. And people just take it the way it comes. And that, that's the life. That's the life. You know. That's the life. And it's a lot, like I said, it's a lot easier to be yourself. So that way you can expand to whatever territory, living truth to your being. So that originality and the concept of being myself, believing in myself and what I do has affected everything I'm doing in terms of prophetic creativity. So we can only get better as time goes on. music journey. Music has, al has always just been there around the corner, you know. It's always been there. We used to play music. I remember way back in secondary school, one day going to play football. Playing football, we'll be singing, chanting up the people, giving them, boosting their morale to play well. We know they play, we just they chant. Go to heal them that time. When people want to move from one place to the other, the team is getting ready to move. We we'll, we'll go join her because now we we'll go chant. We we'll just they sing on the spot, on the spot of the moment kind of singing, you know. Whereas well, they say, they chant, the people go, they move. From then, I did the real Afrobeat, they go on. As they do, I think they go. So it's all part of it. It's been around for a long time, for as long as I've known, right from childhood. But we've always been singing, you know. It's just the sing, they go, all on a part of our. And, uh, but we don't need a choir complete to our corner, corner, you know, that kind of corner, corner thing. We just sing because we don't, we're not really the kind of people where you could say, you go pin down, say, so you must come and at a particular time come and sit down, we'll sing all two tenor bars and all that. Mm -mm. I don't do all that one, I don't get power back. So we just the sing our thing, they go. But it's fun, it's fun. It's good, you know. Enjoy the, ex the whole experience. You know, and writing music, and it just led to writing your own thing. You want to sing your own kind of music and stuff. So we've written a couple of songs, and we'll be singing and recording them. You know, fun. And some of the producers I've worked with have been like, my, your work has given us the greatest challenge, you know, greatest challenge ever. So maybe we task them to bring out more. And we enjoy, but we enjoy the process in the process. My creative art. Yes, I studied a fine art and applied at the University of Benin. So, and nice and wonderful experience, you know. So. From there, we took it on. I'm one of the guys who kept the faith. Many of my guys have gone into applied arts, doing different things that spring out of the creative base they already have. But personally, I've stuck to the creative, creativity, the visual arts. So we've done quite a, a whole lot of painting research, which has led us to different art formation that we founded, like uh, the Splashelino, uh, the Grasselino, and then the Plastelino series, which came out of research and creativity. And those, has been, those, those have been the different art uh, styles that have been founded in my studio, and we're still working on them. Every day it keeps improving. So, and that has led us to having exhibitions at different, different places, different parts of the world, to having visual art exhibition. And that has extended into even poetry in terms of expression, you know. Expression in the visual arts and into poetry. So sometimes we merge the two in the exhibitions we've had over the years. The exhibitions we have over the years in different continents in the world, we've had in 
at least Lagos, Nigeria, we represent Africa very well. We've had different parts of Nigeria, Port Harcourt, Lagos, Nigeria, uh, Abuja. Um, and also in uh, Senegal, Dakar, especially during the Dakar Festival. Yeah, we've had exhibitions there. And I remember the experience we had one time painting the wall of the Gendarme uh, uh, headquarters or something like that in Senegal. It was a total experience. All the Nigerian artists that came from there just took most of the wall spaces and were just, they were demarcated in bits and would take like bits of like almost 12 feet wide. So you see some of our Nigerian artists would take like two sections or three sections. I took three who were ready to work. The others were a little bit scared of Niger, you know how are we now? So they would be taking like one or one and a half, but we just they're like, okay, give me three. I want to take these three spaces. I want to work on them. Other Nigerian artists, oh, give me three, give me two. Give me. So it was Niger all the way. We had our expression everywhere on the wall. Great expression. Even two years later, we came back and to touch up the works. So it was a wonderful experience. The art has been there all through. We've had exhibitions through. Uh, in England many years back, different England, and we had in Germany, uh, in Lübeck, we've had in uh, uh, different areas, in the Netherlands, yeah, and we had in America as well, different uh, states, yeah, Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, earlier New York. The rest of them. There was one we actually had just a few months before Katrina in New Orleans, yes. I remember that experience. But it was packed up. We had finished before he came on board. So, Homeboy was already in Niger before the place was getting flooded, you know. Thank God. You know, having all these exhibitions. And um, they've kept us going. But as a policy, I made it a policy to have at least one exhibition in Lagos every year one in Lagos every year because you have to hold for to your base before before going abroad for other things so that's how it's been it's been a wonderful journey and I'm living and loving every minute of it living and loving every minute of it has been fantastic all through time yeah and we'll do it all over again if the opportunity avails itself <music>Yes, yeah, that's the kind of question they ask people five to ten years. Where do you see your art? With my friend, there, there, are many, there are many things you can control when it comes to this creativity. The only thing I can promise you is that we'll keep painting. We'll keep painting, we'll keep writing songs, we'll keep recording. But this time around, the songs will come out. We won't be playing for ourselves because many of the recordings we've had in the past will record and play. For me, once I play it in my car, I'm okay. I'm fine. I just drive and I play and I'm good. So many of my producers have told me, guy, we need to work with you again. You won't do too much. We'll just suffer, record. When we record, finish, you go just play for yourself. You're okay. Ah, who does that? That's not good now. Give the people, make themselves hear what they go on. That's why they don't push me, push me. This one, when I record, now I force them, force me. But I say, they just hold me, see me, can they do this interview? This one, see them, they just full. All of them did it. They just shine eye like, uh, you know, they, they wait me. So go just they say, okay, just do and do and give the people. Record something, give them media and hear. They want to hear you sing now. Bring out the music. No, they keep out to yourself again. You don't do. If you're not bring again, you know they record again. And so I say, okay. So we'll go record. We'll bring out. We'll give to the people. Let the people hear what we're doing. You know that kind of thing. And I make a job the uh, as you see me here, I just be like who them ping Oh yeah, talk, talk, talk. I say, I go talk, no worry. Then pin me down. I see, I see heavy guys. Behind this camera, I see all of them. See all their eyes, all the shine. No, the idea you shine, did you watch me? He said, Yeah, oh, yeah, now we don't catch you this time. Go record, we'll pick something. Is the guy with it behind this camera? See, his shoe. Mm. I never tell you something about this shoe. You go make moves, I go see this shoe. This shoe that purple with design, we'll fool you to a bad test. I just look this shoe kind of eye. I say that one, Disha. It's all good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, look at it. Go. I said, I interview question, go they come. Which other question? Uh -huh. My inspiration comes from the Most High. Yes, that's my greatest uncle. My uncle is on the creator of the universe, God Almighty. I give thanks. 
is the beginning and the end of everything I do. It's my source. It's an eternal source. Nobody can touch it. Nobody can take it away from you. So it's as safe as can be. And so God Almighty, number one. Then life, people that you meet every day, inspiration, uh, life and creation. Every little thing that we see can inspire creativity. Things that normal people will look at and ignore will inspire so much creativity. And I believe in the very simple things. Keep it very simple so you don't get compl it doesn't get complicated. And then you go know exactly what you do. So that it's either it's white or it's black. All those gray areas, many things they do inside, you know. Now they all the wuru and yama yama they enter. Just fashy them. Keep them plain, simple, easy, you know. A good or a no good. A bad or a no bad. <laughs> if it's like that, that's fine. So as for where we're going to be in the future, now God, they control that one. But one thing I can guarantee you is that we'll keep creating. We'll keep creating and with wonderful people around, you know, great people around that we work with. They can help us to bring out more things. You know, I give, I give kudos to people I've worked with in the past. There's so many of them. So many of them have gone big time, you know. You know Sassy Mike's on the beat, great guy. I the water me pass. And then uh, Chris Okoro, my guy. Is one of the top-notch producers has been around for a long time. We've done stuff with him. You know, when it comes to uh, my graphics and stuff, blessing by this guy, you know, that one. You know, don't go there. The guy is just expanding, touching to different areas. Now he did, now he did handle this recording, what would you do now? By this guy, him. He did, he did, he did. You know, he did. My people, my people. <laughs> Purple shoe. Give me the lingo now. I don't drop your matter. You know, I see the <laughs> Boss! Pause, pause, pause. Artistic influences, I don't think I... Well, well there, there are quite some people. There are quite some, not just one person. There are different people that I appreciate their art. I appreciate what they've done in the past and the way they've done their thing, you know. The originality in what they did. Uh, there's some great artists in Nigeria who are doing, who are doing their thing their own way and have car carving different image for their art, having a strong persona, you know, both living and dead. And there's some um, people abroad as well. But one, one, I remember visiting the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam and seeing quite a collection of Van Gogh's works because. It's a massive museum. There's a whole lot of works, all Van Gogh's. It's quite powerful. You could see the rawness of the brush stroke, the rawness of the colors. Everything about him was just original, original. He just did his thing unapologetically. And you could just see the originality in the pieces. You can't help but, but, but be happy to have had the opportunity to see such, to have such an experience. I was there, I saw the works from in the morning till evening. We had to go back a couple of times to see the works, and it was quite powerful. I could appreciate the fact that they had such collection of his works, you know. And that's because most of his works, he was pushing them to his brother Theo. And Theo would pile up the works. Van, Van Gogh would be thinking that he was selling the works. Meanwhile, Theo was actually keeping the works, but just sustaining go along the line. It was a wonderful experience, you know, great, great. And that's why they can have a collection of his. He died quite young, at about 37. He took his life, shot himself in the head because he just couldn't handle something. But you know how it is now. Most of the, some of these guys have tragic ending because they just can merge their state of mind with their reality. That's why it's very important in anything you are doing to take control of your mind because I believe the mind is the strongest part of any human being. Once you can control your mind, you don't let the environment influence you to the point of taking control of your mind because that way, you know, as a human being, you're gone. You're gone. Just grab the mind and let the body, the person just go carcass, you know. So it's that originality that I've, I've also, I'm a sucker for originality, being yourself and doing your thing, no matter. Like I would say, the product, when the product is ready, the market will always come. You don't have to think about the market before you embark on the product when it comes to creativity, it's because originality counts. So I've been working on three different styles, Splashelino, Plastelino, and uh, Grasselino. Some people call it the grass series. So those are the things I've been working on. These, all, these different schools of art represent different temperaments. There are multiple temperaments, you know, that we have in us. 
So the splashlino is more effervescent, more free, easy spirit. Then the plastilino is more, more intense and has weight in the application of the cones. And then the grass, grass series. The grassilino is more calculated, you know, painstaking to create. That's where you have works like that could be on the grass form, but you have images creeping out from them when you give it a distance and you're watching the work. That's it. So there are great people who have explored their art in different ways. But what I love most about every one of them is the originality, the, 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 the gut to be different, to, be, to just be yourself. Because I believe that every human being from the moment of creation, conception, you know, till death is a unique creation of the Almighty. And you always have something you can give to the people if you just be yourself. And in any case, it's a lot easier being yourself, you know. Just do your thing. Then like and then not like, I no matter. So be yourself, do your thing. Bring out the originality in you. So anyone that's original has a part of me. And, you know, I would appreciate that. Also, but in the art, in the visual art, audio art, that's the music, in the drama, everything. Everyone has an identity. Just be yourself and that's it. It'll give you mileage, mileage, a lot of mileage. Yeah, and also in the Rice Museum, I saw artists of the 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th century. Artists like Rembrandt, Renoir, Gauguin. Many people, you know, great artists that have lived through their time, you know, and representing different era, both the Impressionism era, you know, and even uh, much lately, Pablo Picasso has his original creation, which is his abstract cubism. Yes, he's original, he's just doing his thing, you know. And, and the world gets so appreciated when you come strong, you know, with a dare that people can't touch. You need to dare, you know, do your thing. Just dare, be yourself. It's the greatest part of our being. Once you're yourself, you're already you're original, you're already unique. No one can be, no two people can be the same thing. It's not possible. The creator has made sure that it's rendered that way. There's no repeat. And there's no repeat. So that's it. That's it. It's a good feeling. So anyone who's original, yeah, you have a part of me rooting for you. My favorite time to create, there's really no particular time, no hard and fast rule about this thing. It's all about inspiration when it comes. Inspiration can come at any time of the day, you know, it depends. If I'm feeling like giddy giddy, the inspiration can come anytime. If I'm feeling like the artist can come anytime. So I believe that every artist, no matter how, where your studio is, how big it is, or anything, they, there must be one that's very close to where you lay your head, you know, so that if you wake up in the night, you feel like creating something, you can always have access. That's why the big studio can be where it is, but there's always a studio close to where you lay your head so that when you get up at very odd times, you'll be able to work, to create. And I think every artist needs to be respected. The space needs to be given to him to be able to create. The people who know you well must give you that liberty uh, to do your thing, you know. Because there are certain things you can't control about creativity. It can come any time. And if it comes and you let it flow, then you can have some of the best creations ever. That if you don't allow them to come out at the time they're pushing themselves to come out, you may just lose them and you never get them. Yeah. So it's just like getting inspiration for a tune. If you don't have anything to record it and pin it down, you may never get the tune, especially the way it came. You know, because these things always come natural, original. Once you miss it or you're trying to push it or force it, you know, they ever complete, you know, it'd be like circle, we'll just go around now and they could nearly join, but you know, they complete, you know. That's where they be, you know. So, there's no particular time for creativity. Creativity has its own, its own feel, you know. Just like the labyrinth of life, you know, it just keeps... <laughs> anytime, you can click. So, just be ready, be ready to release it when it comes. And I tell you something, as an artist, like a burden, it comes. It's like a weight. If you don't bring it out completely the way it is, 
even you as the as the as the avenue as the avenue for bringing out that creativity because i believe everything comes from the most high even you as the person won't be completely satisfied i remember the story of handel when he worked on the music the messiah that he was away for some time locked himself up trying to create and bring out something and he wasn't really disturbed he was just so original in his thoughts and everything just himself that at the end of the day he brought out the messiah which was one of the greatest pieces of music ever created in, in the world. But then it was, the guy was weeping and crying. He felt like he hadn't brought out the full inspiration of what he had inside. He felt it was still shortchanging creation, that he couldn't really bring out the whole thing. So you can imagine, meanwhile, the world thinks it's a masterpiece he brought out. So that's the life of the artist, you know. We're just a conduit, a conduit for transferring creativity that's in the air into reality so that other people can appreciate it. So... That's why for me, at the point of signing a painting, it's like a release. I, oh, thank God. At least I've justified my existence on the planet for today, you know, up until the next one, or for these moments, you know, up until the next one. So that's, that's, that's the life, life of the artist, you know. But we give thanks, we give thanks to Most High for giving us the opportunity, availing us the opportunity to be the conduit to transfer these things from the, from the subliminal, from, from the abstract to reality where other people can have access to it and appreciate it. So we're living and loving every minute of it. It's fine. We'll do it again and again, and again, and again and again. Yeah, the artist, that's me. Mm -hmm. Did I hear somebody say giddy? Giddy giddy. <laughs> that's so, that's so, that's so. Words of encouragement or advice to aspiring artists. Just be yourself. Be yourself, believe in yourself, believe in the gift that you've been given by the creator believe that you're different from everyone else because you really are and do your thing learn as much as you can learn learn as much as you can learn you know expose yourself to many opportunities many ideas but when it comes to creating your own isolate do your thing have you yourself in mind and no one else and do your thing if you really feel it then you can transfer that feeling to the people who are receiving whatever it is you do. Because if you feel it, that's when it's legit, that's when it's original. That's how you can transfer the feeling. Like I remember an interview that was done many years ago by Bob Marley, they asked him, so many people, so many reggae artists play reggae music, how come yours is different? You know what he said? He said, ours is different because we feel it, we give it the way we feel it, we're original about our feeling. So just be legit about your feeling. Do your thing your own way. With time, you keep improving on it. And then you see the full package that you are. I believe the younger artists have a greater opportunity right now than before. You know, before it was a lot more difficult creating music. You go into the studio to record and it's all analog. They make a mistake, they start from the beginning. You have to create a demo first before you start thinking of creating the other things. Get to the record studios and listen to them. Uh, most of the time, they're bouncing people off. They just make things too, so tough. Because the opportunities were little, but now the opportunity is everywhere. The internet has made everything a lot easier. I'm making a music. You can create music, make music in your home now. Everything, there are different, different uh, templates for making music. And it's, it keeps getting simplified. So opportunities are a lot more for the people now. Things are a lot easier now. So the people who really mean it and want to go into creativity, it's bam, bam, bigelow. It's a lot easier, you know, than before. So just be yourself. Put your spirit into what you're doing. Believe in yourself and in what you're doing, and you, you, you'll be there. You'll be there. But you have to be stubborn about your belief, you know. Just keep going. No matter what anybody says or no matter what the circumstances say around you, don't listen to them. Just be yourself. Like they said, uh, what would you advise a kid who tells you he wants to do something you don't understand? What do you tell him? You can tell him, no, I don't understand what you're doing. But for you that has been told that you, they don't understand, that should even be the more reason because that means you're coming, with some, you're coming with something that's so legit that the people don't even know it. So if you feel it and you believe it, 
give it. Give it to the people, you know. The opportunities are there. I think people should just be sincere about them, about what they want to create, what they want to do. So just go ahead and do it. And always think there are easier ways to make things better. You don't have to think about the funding and all that because it kind of clogs everything, makes you feel like if you don't have money, you won't create. Nobody says you have to spend so much to get so good. So you have to use your brain. Be smart about what you're doing. There's always an easier way to make better things. So don't outspend other people in your creativity. Outthink them. Use your wisdom, your smartness to pave a way for you. And it's a lot easier when you're original. So keep it original, keep it real, and creation will bless your efforts. One love. <laughs> you're so beautiful. So adorable, you are the one deep in my heart and in my soul. Unbelievable, oh my baby boo, you're so amazing, I'm crazy for you. <laughs>
Unbelievable. Okay, no good if panic person. Oh my baby boo. You're so amazing. I'm crazy for you. Pam pam pam. You are the sunshine of my heart. Yeah, I have the artist on this part of the t-shirt. Interesting. The artist as Giddy 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 <laughs> Giddy <laughs> The artist Giddy 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 It's so good to be alive. It's so good. You know, I give thanks and praise to all the wonderful people I've met along the line. I praise God most high for making it possible for us to see this day, this beautiful day. You know, it's just massive working with some great people, great people like Blessing, Bless, Ben, my guy, my guy from way back, handling all the graphics, extending to photography and movies and the video shots. And then the great guy handling the camera. Mikey, that's Midas. Midas, you know, Michael Zaghi, great guy, one of the best on the planet. This guy is awesome, great guy. By the way, I like that your purple shoe, you know, think about that shoe thing. Ba, 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 ba. Guy is awesome. And yeah, it's my producer, Sassy Mike's on the beat. The guy's been pulling me to bring out stuff here to the public. My old time producer, Dr. Chris, Chris Okoro, wonderful guy. He worked with great people. Even Rhymeso. I wonder where that guy is now. Rhymeso. Oh, the guy dr dropped some massive beats for me a couple of years back. Awesome beat. We'll begin bringing it out to the people sometime soon. You know, maybe. No promises. Don't hold me to that. Did I say that? No, I didn't. But you never know. It could just come out. So we do our thing. Bum, 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 bum. This is the artist. You know, we do our thing. Live, live life at full crush. Have all the fun there is. Stress yourself no more. Take it easy, nice and slow. Bottom line, we give thanks to the creator of the universe, Lord God Most High. All glory to you. Thank God for everything. Forever loyal. Forever loyal. And thank you for the grace, for the blessings that you pour in my side. It's just flowing. And I'm grabbing all of them. And I'm extending all the blessings and the love to you all, my people. One love, you know, great people, great people, massive people. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for hanging on to our channel, The Artist Official. There's a whole lot that we have in store for you. We're going to be giving you love, joy, happiness, entertainment, fun and laughter, all the sadness and pain, everything. We'll pull them all together and squeeze them into the bundle of happiness. Boom! So I will hit you. And bottom line, you maintain your joy and your happiness. Yes, there's a whole lot coming. We'll keep it on a soft level so we'll be able to reach our people. One love. Never forget, you're a unique creation. Nobody else is like you. You're special and you have a reason to be in this world. So, leave your reason. Joy, happiness, peace. Massive love for you all. Mm. From here to you. Love you all, man. Thank you.